It's Music City, Nashville, where country music stars sing praises and anthems for their NHL team, the Predators. Hi everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming along in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. A lot of people have clicked through the turnstiles tonight, and they've had in mind one player. He's the guy on whom all eyes will be. What's it like to be him? Well, you want that pressure. You want to be the guy. When the game is on the line, you want to be the guy that has the puck on your stick. And that's why people pay a lot of money to come watch this particular player play. Because when he's at his best, his team goes to another level. Yossi's shown throughout his career, pretty much at every level of hockey, that he loves the extra attention and responsibilities that come from being one of the stars for his team. It's not easy being the guy every night, but he seems to enjoy it when all the eyes are on him. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. The Nashville Predators got a steal with this guy, Pekka Rene. He gets the call in goal tonight. They called his name 258th in the 2004 draft. Four years later, he was their main man in goal. Jacob Markstrom arrived in Vancouver in a trade which took longtime goalie Roberto Luongo the other way to Florida. Trained in Sweden, a second round choice of those Florida Panthers. And the opening faceoff is here. Joe Hansen sent to the big center ice circle for Nashville. Horvat's ready to draw for the Canucks. Gathered up again by Edler. Pitching this one to Besser. Let's it go. Save there. Wonderful stop. Pass comes to him from the crease. Trying to go to Joe Hansen. Snaps one. Terrific save. Play is halted right now, so it's a chance to hear from Ray Ferraro. Vancouver's physical presence is noted throughout the league. They're big, they skied hard, and they lay the body on at every opportunity. Defensive zone win. Slid to Berchi. Steps across that line. Alone! Biggest chance of the game! Marvelous save! All those glorious moves, not enough! Just like shootout. Score! Boy, they're on the board early, aren't they? Now that the scoring's been opened up, we'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back on your heels too long. The Canucks now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Steps in from the neutral zone. Look out! Here it comes! Both teams talked about having a physical presence. He got the message. That early hit sets the tone for his team. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Berchi's still feeling the effects of that huge hit. He's got to learn you cannot play with your head down at this level. Just a little over six minutes have gone off the clock. Vancouver is up in this game, 1-0. Fires. Oh, a save there. The Canucks are lugging it back through the defensive end. It's dumped in. Got it in his own zone, back behind the net. Face off upcoming, offside. The Canucks bench really got excited when they saw their goaltender make that amazing stop. Predators with a clean win on the draw. He's got that pass off the wing and can move ahead. Shoots it off. Got the save there. Gives it over to the point. Shoot. Oh, that was close. 
close. That's a great scoring chance, but he just missed. He'll be looking to get the next one. On to Subban. They're getting ready to strike. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Clean win on the draw. Pass attempt to Tanev. Oh, what a hit that one was. You gotta love that hit, unless you're the guy on the receiving end. That's a jolt. This is the way you eliminate a player in the middle of the ice. Perfectly executed. Vancouver's got another win. Let's a shot fly. Got a piece of that one. And now it's directed to Forsberg. He is able to move on in. Terrific determination by Edler. Cut off that pass. Vancouver's forced another turnover in this very close game. And the linesman were no team worth its name is going to let that go. And for every action, there's a reaction. When you make a play like that, usually the end result is this. was going back into old times for those two major penalties. The Predators are pounding the boards as their guy has won this fight. Well, the home team just rolling right over top of the visitors. The crowd is all over them right now. Determination by Edler. Directing that one to Berchi. Breaks away. Score! This is a great shot off the backhand. He lights the lamp. Good work to get into the open to receive the pass, but that's a beauty of a dish that opens up the pass lane, gives him time to shoot the puck. Vancouver's got that puck off the draw. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that. Takes it in from the neutral zone. A shot! Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Shot on! He scores! Forsberg! With all that pressure in the zone, you just knew it was coming. What a shift. Markstrom's got to be a little more patient here. He drops into the butterfly. That opens up the top of the net, and he can't get his stick hand up high enough. Vancouver's got that neutral zone faceoff. Chipped right back into the opposite corner. Pitching it to Torres. Passing one off now to Ellis. And he shoots. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him.
Period number one has ended. Both teams connected. The Riflemen have prevailed at least through one period. We'll see about two. The Canucks have an advantage of one. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off. Regular Vancouver's goaltender has made a difference in this game. His team has gotten the goals, and he has made saves like this. More in a moment. Middle period has just begun. Carries it on in from center. Off his head. I can't imagine goaltenders never wearing masks. Markstrom's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. Prevail again. Rister from the slot. Oh, that's a good keep. That's a great keep at the line. The Canucks, it's all on his shoulders. What a safe mate all alone. Gathered up by Berchi. Oh, did he ever get mashed? I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Solid work there by P.K. Subban. The Predators up the wing are moving the puck. Routine save, but a necessary one. I'm generally a guy that's entertained by lots of goals and low-scoring games kind of bore me, but this has been pretty good. There's been chances, the goaltenders have been good, and it's been very physical. Looking to Fiala. Fires. That hits somebody. Edler's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. One on one. He shuts it right down. Squeezes that one for a stop to play. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Solid win of the draw. Shoot. Pad block. Nice save. Tough to follow. The Predators have the puck at center ice. In front. That's a marvelous save. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Dogged determination there by Del Zotto. Vancouver's along the wing at center ice. the slot oh what a chance there denied the pad flexed out nice work by Bonino they score and they've tied the game up We came into the game, guys, thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest, and here we are, back at a stalemate. A little under seven minutes still showing on the clock this period. The red light has flashed four times to a side. Nashville's winging it at neutral ice. And that puck goes offside. Vancouver's got that one. Now what? Leads that charge into the zone. Outstanding body contact. That is one solid thump, Doc. He went right over top of him. The building erupted. 
Brings a shot. That was a great play and goal. Now that's a solid save. The Canucks have it in the defensive zone. Carried in, and they've got him out, man. Breakaway. That's a great glove save. A shot. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. In all alone. Can he beat him here? Outstanding save with a glove. The Predators have it along the side at mid-ice. Vancouver seeing the end of this period coming. Do they have time to start something and to finish it? Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. A shot. Got his pad on that one. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Let's check out the shots on goal through these two periods. 15 for Nashville and 15 for Vancouver. Nashville's collected the game-tying goal, and that will mean an awful lot to them when they head out to the ice for the start of the next period. We'll return after these words. Underway in the third period in a tie contest, even in goals, pretty even in play, it seems. And he steps in. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. By himself. Drives ahead. Wonderful save off a wonderful shooter. Gathered up again by Yossi. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Nashville's along the wing at center ice. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty court. The Canucks are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Predators are going to try out their power play. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, to come out even. Let's it go. Made that work for him in goal. Offensive possession here. Can he get it out? The Canucks with a neutral. A solo rush. What a job with the stick. Much ice to cover of the puck taken by Forsberg. And he steps across the line. Good place to shoot from. Wonderful save with the glove. A shot. Blocked. Vancouver's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. The Predators in their own end controlling play now. Can start the attack going in the zone. Strong wrister. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Moving it to Subban. Shoots. Great score! Well, this has been pretty good back and forth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. The Predators, at a critical point in this game, have broken the tie. 
They've had a huge advantage in time of possession, so it looks good for the future, too. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Shoots. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. Eight minutes, 49 seconds. This game is going to wind down and be close right to the final horn. Each team has tried to enforce their style. Breaks free. It's just him. And a save. The Predators, through the neutral zone, continue on. Routine save. Laid on to Besser. In with it now. Breakaway. Score! And the game is even. I guess at this point, guys, it doesn't really matter what the game looks like. It's back to even square, and we'll find out who's going to take the lead next. Vancouver's goal has tied this game up. A fun ride to the finish for all of us now. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Good save. Edler's headed to neutral ice. What a tremendous hit. Yossi's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. I don't think the puck here ever thought that this player was going to come in and make this big, huge hit. A tad over five minutes left to go in the third. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Very effective defensive play. You want to get by as quick as you can on the boards? Maybe you can slide through. Not there. Doors closed. The Canucks have it up the wing. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Gagne's just gliding to the bench dock after that huge hit. Snapping a pass to Salamaki. Good save, good position. Puck is thrown to Berchi. Driving in from no man's land. Approaching the final minute in this game. In the third period. Oh, and it's a penalty coming. To Edler. Edler's creating chances for his teammates with two assists so far. Oh, wonderful play. A penalty has been called at a critical point in the game, and the power play unit comes out. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. The Canucks get their first power play of the game, and it is big. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Vancouver is back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. A hit that can make you mad. Gathered up again by Ellis. Pitching this one to Bonino. Shoots one. Wonderful save. Trying to go to Besser. Tremendous hit. Well, he's pretty clearly shaken up. He's just gliding slowly off the ice dock after that big hit. What a performance, and it's not over yet. These guys will play on in overtime. Open a savings account this month at Baybank and get access to team press conferences. Practice Besser's goal takes us to overtime. That's where we'll be when we come back. Baybank, your team's proud exclusive banking partner. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Gagne's been missing from the bench for quite some time. I just got word now he won't be back today. Vancouver's power play gets a chance to work here. 
takes it right back. Shoots one. Oh, stick save. Pass attempt to Bonino. Puck went just outside the blue line, and so everybody has to get back. Back to the point. Nashville's been faced with pressure, but they responded. They killed off the penalty. And so it shot the length, and we get an icing call as a result. Rene is able to make what turns out to be a relatively routine butterfly stop. Over three minutes left to go in overtime. Both teams with three. That's our score. That's a huge face-off victory for them. Just missed the net with that one. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. Chris shot. Wonderful save. Shoots. Score! And the overtime is finished. The game is over. The Predators have taken this one in sudden death. Got back into the game late and eventually win it in OT. A terrific game of hockey. Well played by now. Very tired players. A great time. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night all.